Okay, and this is triceps surae, which, as you can see, uh, the first muscle is gastrocnemius, which is a two-headed muscle, as you can see. Uh, it attaches at the medial and lateral femoral condyles at the top there. Um, and then it goes all the way down and attaches to the tender calcaneus. Uh, its principal function is as a plantar flexor of the ankle, but it also flexes the knee as well. Uh, it's spindle-shaped or fusiform. Uh, it's a white muscle, which means it's a fast twitch uh, muscle, which is um, it's mainly for non-aerobic short bursts. Um, yeah, and it's a prime mover and the most superficial of the three triceps surae. Uh, and then we're on to plantaris, which is this thin little weedy muscle which goes down there. Uh, basically, it attaches the lateral femoral condyle um, and goes down and sometimes attaches to the tendocalcaneus, but sometimes has its own attachment. Um, its function is as a plantar flexor again, um, and it will also flex the knee, though it's not present in 10% of us. Um, and it's slowly evolving out of the population, um, and that's also spindle-shaped. Okay, so then we're moving on to the rather large muscle, which is just behind the plantaris, the most deep of the three. Uh, <laughs> this attaches at the top of the tibia and the fibula, and it's the only one which doesn't have an action on the knee itself. Um, this goes down, and it Attach, attached to the tendocalcaneus, um, and its principal function is as a plantar flexor again. It's a large red muscle, as you can see, which means it's got a lot of myoglobin. It's an, it's an aerobic muscle, and it's an endurance muscle. So you um, use it when you're standing for long periods of time. Yes, because it is a fixator rather than a prime mover, like the gastrocnemius. Okay.